Howdy y'all, welcome back to Guns and Barbecue. So I have a cheap med kit from Delta Team Tactical. Let's find out if it's a bargain or a bust. So here's everything that's supposed to come in this little kit. Um, I'll post a still image of it as well. So I got this med kit off of Delta Team Tactical when I ordered my 300 blackout upper. And it was $10. I figured either it's gonna be good or it's not. Uh, claims that this is a waterproof bag. It's one of those bags that you roll up on itself and you know, with the way it closes and everything, it's supposed to be waterproof. I had a motorcycle bag that you could put on the back of your motorcycle if you had a sissy bar or something. And it closed up the same way. And it actually was waterproof. So um, we'll see how this does. Uh, this is the first time getting into this, so initial impressions of the bag. Let's see. Feeling the inside, I would most definitely assume that it would be waterproof. How well will it hold up over time? I don't know, but uh, feels pretty good, so I like the bag. Then all the contents in here are in a Ziploc bag, so I guess that's a plus because if the bag leaked, well then, stuff's still staying dry. So, and that's also a nice way to keep it all together. The thing I grab is 10 alcohol prep pads. That's a nice little thing to have. Um, honestly, I don't think you can have enough alcohol prep pads. You never know what you could need them for. You can go buy them at Walmart, uh, Walgreens, any of your drug stores or anything like that. You know, uh, it's like five, six bucks for a box of like a hundred alcohol prep pads. So, um, ten's good to have, but uh, if you can load up more, why not? Got a couple iodine pads. Um, I'd also like to point out uh, with this stuff, if you never had any fr sort of first aid training or anything, it's usually good to seek out some first aid training just because you, you never know what you're going to encounter. Uh, now this is a ten dollar kit, so I wouldn't, you know, be counting on this to, you know, be like some big life-saving kit or anything, obviously. But um, the things that are in here, it'd be good to know how to use in case of a significant emergency. So next we have some rolled gauze, nothing too extravagant there. Next we have just a rubber tourniquet. I believe these are called a TPE or TCE tourniquet. Um, it's no different than when you go get your blood drawn uh, at the hospital by the phlebotomist or whatever. They just take that rubber strap, wrap it around your arm, pull it tight. Uh, if you've never paid attention to how they do that um, to form that quick release uh, pull. Maybe pay attention next time or watch a little video. It, it's not too hard to figure out. But uh, if you were, if you read in this kit that you're getting a tourniquet and you thought you're getting one of those fancy cat tour tourniquets or something like that, uh, again, this is $10. Um, you know, you're not gonna get the most top of the line stuff. But you know what, this, if, if you have to use it, it's going to do the job. It's going to stop the bleed, hopefully, if not at least slow it down. I'm sure there's going to be the people out there that say, hey, that band, that that tourniquet isn't made for long-term use and you're going to cause a lot of damage and yada, yada, yada. I, I understand that. Um, however, do you know what is worse than long-term damage from a tourniquet being on too long or anything like that, which again, this med kit is not something that you're probably going to be having to worry about using when you're five, six hours away from medical health or anything. Um, but anyways, you know, it's worse than, you know, some long-term damage from a tourniquet that was on too long, bleeding to death. So it's better than nothing. Um, this, oh, what's it say? Oh, triangular bandage, it looks like it says. Uh, again, just like a gauze bandage. So, got that. 
Got a pair of tweezers. Won't lie, these feel fairly flimsy. Definitely leave something to be desired. However, again, $10 med kit. You, you, you're gonna get what you pay for. But uh, if you're really worried about upgrading the tweezers in here, again, you can go to any of your local drug stores, Walmart, uh, pretty much any grocery store probably. Uh, <laughs> excuse me, and pick up a pair of tweezers for a few bucks that are gonna be much better if you're that worried about it. We have a bunch of band-aids. Um, I already opened up one of these because I wanted to see how good of a quality band-aid it is. And, um, well, if you get a cut or a scratch or something, it'll do fine. But if you need something that's gonna be holding on uh, throughout the day because you're you know, at the water park or something with your family, stuff like that. Um, you might want to invest in some better bandages. These are these, the like vinyl, plasticky kind. They, they, they don't stick well. So, um, again, if you're worried about bandages or anything like that, maybe go to the store, get some fabric ones that have a much better adhesive, stick to your skin better. We got. 10 cotton swabs. Now, cotton swabs are another thing. You can go to Walmart in the little travel section. I think they have a little blue pack. They're like 99 cents or something like that. And I don't know how many you get in there, but it's gonna be more than 10. I think it's supposed to be like 50, maybe 100, something like that. But anyways, uh, again, that's another compact thing that you could actually throw in this kit. Uh, are you gonna need that many? cotton swabs and a medical kit no but again you never know what's gonna happen and it could be nice to have um, and the one thing I did notice which I don't think I mentioned is there's actually quite a bit of room in this bag with everything that they already had in here so adding to it actually won't be too big of an issue which will actually be beneficial if you want to add things to this because well you got the room a few more packages of band-aids we got this thing here. Um, honestly, I'm not 100% sure what it is. Uh, this might, you know what? I think this might be the fever reducer pad. It's, you know, supposed to feel cold. You got somebody that has a fever or something, lay it on their forehead. Um, but with it not being labeled, I'm not 100% sure, but I would assume that's what it is. A pair of latex gloves. These are kind of on the chintzy side. Again, $10 kits. Uh, don't expect the highest quality of stuff in here. Um, in addition to that, it's only one pair of latex gloves. In an emergency situation, you might have to rip gloves off. You might have a pair ripped. A lot of things can happen. When I worked corrections, I would actually take and load up the cargo pockets on my BDUs and I would just stuff those with um, latex gloves or rubber vinyl vinyl gloves because very rarely do you find latex gloves anymore because of latex allergies. But anyways, I would load my cargo pockets up with gloves. That way, if at any time I needed a pair, I always had them. And when you start becoming a little conscientious about having gloves it's amazing how many times you uh, just automatically go oh I need to put on a pair so uh, again maybe you're dealing with a car accident or something you know a couple, of pe a couple of people have bleeds uh, you don't want to go work on one person and then have the same bloody gloves on when you go to the next person so it's something to keep in mind uh, again Maybe you have one rip while you're trying to put it on. I think I already said that, but if not, uh, again, a lot of reasons to have extra gloves. So, and they're not right now. It's like 20 bucks for a hundred pair, which is insane. Before COVID happened, you used to get them for I think 10 or 12 bucks for a hundred pair. So hopefully those prices will come back down. But even at 20 bucks for a hundred pair, it's a hundred pair. It's really negligible to be throwing in extra. Uh, six safety pins. Are they good? Eh, they're all right. Next we have a sterile iPad, another great addition. We have 
some cleansing wipes, uh, say alcohol free. I'm guessing these are basically like big moist towelettes. I got a total of four of those. 100% sure what this is. Uh, feels like it's probably gonna have a sticky backing. Um, it's some sort of dressing. Four soap wipes. Those are great, you know, if you need to clean up anything before, you know, applying alcohol, uh, neosporin, any, anything like that before you apply a bandage or covering of any sort. Cleaning the affected area is very important. Uh, relief pads. I guess these are for itches or something. I'm not 100% sure to tell the truth. Burn gels. Uh, well, I shouldn't say a few, we got two. Uh, burn gel packages and honestly there's a lot of other first aid uh, gels and creams and things like that for uh, bug bites bee stings um, burns obviously uh, allergic reactions all kinds of stuff that come in little packages like this um, they I don't, don't notice any others that are included in here so again going to Walmart CVS Walgreens whatever and picking something like that up would definitely be advised with the extra room that you have with this kit because things like that can really come in handy. Also, some other things that would probably come in handy that weren't included in this that I am just now thinking of would be maybe uh, little individual packages of ibuprofen or Tylenol. Uh, that would always be a great thing to have. You never know when you could become sick, uh, fall and break something, and having some ibuprofen or acetaminophen uh, can really help um, with pain relief and stuff like that. So uh, those are all things that will be great additions. If you, I, I am not a doctor, so don't take this as medical advice or anything. I'm just, you know, throwing out ideas that would be good to have in a medical kit. All right, so take two on the medical tape because I swore and I'm trying to cut back my language on my channel, at least a little bit. Uh, this is a friggin' joke, absolutely. This is supposed to be the medical tape that they include. Um, that roll of gauze, I don't even think this would be enough to secure that roll of gauze. That's absolute garbage, and the fact that they include that like that. I, I, again, I realize this is a $10 med kit, but that's friggin' useless. Um, this is the one time I am saying with this med kit, go to the store and buy a good roll of medical tape. It's gonna cost you a couple bucks, you're gonna get two rolls of it, and it's gonna last for freaking ever. Um, like I said, that was ridiculous. That, that annoyed the crap out of me. Got one of those fancy silver emergency blankets. Fold it up nicely. It's in its own little Ziploc bag. It's all on its own. So that's very nice. We have some medical shears. I was actually just messing with these uh, to see how they work because a lot of these are really cheap and don't cut hardly anything. And again, it's a $10 med kit. If these were super cheap and junk, I would not be surprised. However, um, I'm taken by surprise by them. I, I had an old pair of jeans that I had cut up recently, so I just figured, you know what, those are already cut up. I'll give these a try on them, and they actually cut the jean material just fine. So if you're having to cut somebody's shirt off, something like that in an emergency, honestly, I think these will be well enough. Uh, could you get a better pair? Yes but these are gonna do what you need them to do when you need it to do it. And uh, I don't think that's something that would actually need uh, replacing, so uh, that's nice. Last but not least, a CPR mask. I didn't save this for last or anything, just been grabbing things here randomly and showing them to you. But uh, CPR mask is a nice addition here. You never know if you're gonna be doing CPR to somebody or not, if you are, uh, it, it's nice to have a mask that way you're not having any direct contact with their bodily fluids because uh, one of the things is when you're doing CPR on somebody you don't have to just worry about their saliva you could be having to worry about blood saliva uh, is it somebody who 
has aspirated so that they've vomited a uh, lot of gross stuff uh, CPR mask is a very awesome addition so, so I got everything um, put back in here um, one thing I didn't point out is there is like a little carabiner clip here so you can attach it to a belt loop something like that uh, whatever you really want to really uh, it's a nice little touch uh, and again as I said there is plenty of room to put more stuff in here I will probably add to this uh, for ten dollars it's a good start to a first aid slash med kit if it's something that you're just gonna be taken to the beach or on a hike with a family or just keep it in your car in case something happens uh, this is actually pretty decent uh, it's gonna do most everything that you're gonna need but uh, if you want to add a little bit more to it, it's a nice little starter kit to add to. So, uh, bargain or bust? I don't know if I call it a bargain at $10 for what you're getting here. However, I think with the bag, the medical scissors, and the rescue blankets, uh, those three things probably just about make up that ten dollars so everything else that you get in here is you know a bonus at that point so i don't know like i said what i say is a bargain i don't know but it's definitely not a bad price by any stretch of the imagination so uh i would buy another one for sure a and Delta Team Tactical did not give this to me or anything. I paid ten dollars for this thing to find out if it was good or not. So uh, let me know what you think down in the comments, and please hit those like, comment, share, and subscribe buttons, and I'll catch y'all later.